Trump is a New York City creature. And New Yorkers tend to use a lot of hand gestures. We all do. He's entertaining, even if you don't buy a thing he's saying. I was walking, I was talking, I was feeling so fine on a weekend day in the bright sunshine. I don't think he's been coached heavily on his body language. And people pick up on that in an instant. They pick up his authenticity. We're military, and we're going to take care of our veterans. This is his baseline. It's kind of an alternating I-I -I hand gesture with an global. L shape. So it's right here. It looks precise. Say right now. Not wishy-washy. He's got this nail. Right. People are shocked. People are shocked. But he uses this as cautionary. Look out. This is a tough competitor. Or he'll say, we don't know what's going to happen here. This scares people. It looks like, whoa, hold him back. It's defensive. So if you scare people and then you say, here's what we need to do, his prescription, then you've got a good package. I'm taking the gloves off, right? Yes? The no-no is generally pointing at people, pointing at people. In fact, Clinton kind of backed off from that. I'm talking about Bill Clinton. And he started to do the more of a, uh, of a pinch towards somebody, it's less like accusatory. A perfect tape done by obviously a government camera. Slicing means this is precision. We've got to do something about this. He gets people whipped up with his gestures. He gets them to feel a sense of chaos. Whether he says, we don't have a plan. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's his chaos. And then he follows it up with precision moves. Elect me, so and we'll get we'll get to the bottom of this. Although I'd like to be nice and uniform, you know, if they ever put my name on, I want a gorgeous wall.